I like I like the finish. Who's is this? Right here. I like the finish on it. Did you answer? Yeah, Beal Buff and Renaissance. Okay. That's it. Good Sandy job. Yeah. Yeah. Good sanding job. I like the way you kept the sharpness, the sharpness here without over sanding it. One of the mistakes is sanding across the uh, the sharp edges and, and dulling them so that they take a lot of snap out of the design. So it was a good job on that. Yeah, I, ha I may have to redo that one a little bit. This, this is glossier than this one. Well, I've used that one every day for the last month. No. <laughs> every day. <laughs> I don't use salt. Don't you enjoy using your own product? Your own Absolutely. Own products? Absolutely. What's the finish? It's this it's myelin cellulose sanding sealer, the Beal Buff, and then the Renaissance wax. Okay. And, and the, the stand goes with that. Oh. That's just a nice, nice finish. square piece of board that I've turned. Give it a little curve. Do they stay in that on your, in your I like, kitchen? I like that, yeah. I like that addition. It gives it a lot of interest. Yeah, it gives a little, and it, my, my kitchen table has a glass on it, so it, it actually raises it up really nice. Oh, cool. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. This is uh, pistachio. This, this is this? Mine. It's, it's nice. I, I like the fact that you have a nice round bottom as opposed to a bump in the middle. That I took a long time before I figured out how to knock a, oh. a bump in the middle or a depression. So you, you got that just right. Nice small base. I think it's very elegant. What do you find for the what, what kind of finish? So that's just a um, this is walnut bump finish. I mean, it's actually yeah, it's but it's kind of warm. That's a, that's a bulby side of the key. Well, well, I would think so because there's no sanding marks on it, there's no grooves on it, so it's a good, good turning job too. So. I made half a dozen pistachio bowls and, and went out to the right. There was one block left. And there used to be somebody out on the West Coast that sold it on eBay. And it's great stuff. I think it's, it's every piece of gun is totally different. It has a lot of character. Um, you kept this inclusion too. So that gives a lot and it of always has a lot of flaws like that word. Inclusion and separation. Put them on the table, Bob, yeah. and no, large. First time I've done this. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Nobody's judging but you. I'm not just making excuses for that. This is. I'm plus eight. I can't read the. What kind of what is this? I don't know. I think it might be um, the magnolia. It looks kind of like it. It might also be holly. This is the stuff around the house. Yeah, yeah. Bogwood. You got you got a nice uh, nice sanding job on it. I like to find a way to keep this bark not shiny. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to the other extreme. I use CA glue to keep it there. Well, yeah, uh, true, true. <laughs> let, let me tell you. Let me tell you a little. On, on this, <laughs> inevitably, with the CA glue and the finish, this natural edge gets shiny. I got some matte finish, Crown matte finish, <laughs> spread into one of these cups, so it stays liquid for a good long while. And that thickness, take an artist brush, I brush on top of this. That muted that shine, mostly, not entirely, but it was a lot better than it was before because I had parts of it which were flat and parts of it which were glossy. It didn't look good at all. So. That's something I want to try. Thank you. Yeah, okay. And this is his mate? Uh, yeah. I like, I like more the, character. I like the rule. Now these are really mugs, so you could have been more just they made the bases smaller. Mm -hmm. I was actually, those were my first two real tries at the polymer. Yes, you did a nice job. Well done. Thank you. These are set? Uh, no, they're just other things I've done. Okay, you? Same game, same me. The, um, they're just candle holders for taper candles. I like this uh, 
And the Teresa has done it. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cute. Neither have I. But, and I invented that just a few days ago by taking, by looking at what's normally just a little curve. And I took the, um, what do you call it? Cut off tool. Yep. Jammed it in at an angle. Just brought the, the cutoff tool at an, in at an angle and underneath too. Under this, this would be a little less rocky if this was, space was concave. Uh, that's my next stuff. And I did it. I did it underneath the top also. Just turn, flip it over. Look at it underneath. The top. <laughs> See that? I started with that one. Just a parting tool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it came out very interesting. I like it. It kept the sharpness to it. And that one was a piece that's been sitting around my shop for about a year because they didn't know what to do with it. And I've been playing around with uh, cheap with grinding down uh, some. Uh, spade drills to get the right angle for the uh, brass cups. I suggest, I suggest bigger bases so they don't either appear to be or actually be tippy. Yeah. I mean, if you put along that, it, it'll be. Mm -hmm. and of course, I can, see, I can see the bark over here. You didn't have much to work with. That's one, true. One, one you can take a piece of wall and make a base. Yeah, you yeah, have, you have a, nice, a nice. Uh, uh, demarcation line between this element and this element. It could have been a different piece of wood and it would not have been sacrificed any of the design at all. I believe uh, those are both crepe myrtles. Good. Little natural edge uh, dish. Yeah, that was me also and my, my first or second attempt at natural edge. Uh -huh. You kept it pretty good. Yeah, yeah I threw a couple away too. Well, yeah, some of that's inevitable. Yeah. I, did, I learned that. They say that wood cut during the winter keeps mm -hmm. the natural edge better yeah. because of the, the sap content. Nice smooth finish. Well, yeah. it feels oily. Is it well finished? Yeah, well. Or, or, or tongue. Or tongue. Okay, so I grab it first. That's mine. Little piece I turned in lazy days. Put a lacquer on it. Uh-huh. The just come I had is it was uh, hot and the sawdust was sticking to me and I was trying to rush through and the shoulders a little, I might have to repair on the shoulders. But. Yeah. One of the problems with these type of is yeah. because wood isn't it constant. It was humid. It started raining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've given up making the pop fits. Uh, I, I always give it a Just a small, a small amount of rad like in there, so it's got, as it, as it may change in time, it doesn't jam on. Don't ask me how I know this, but it's on the hard way. I got one I can't take a little. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we all do. This is nice. This is, uh, what is this one? What kind of wood? I'm not sure. I think it might be uh, rad for pear. <laughs> it's a, it's it's a, a lot piece of wood. Points. It's a piece of wood I found in the woods. Somebody cut yeah. down a tree. I, I like the design of it. Nice, nice and thin. You kept all all the bark. That's yeah, nice and good. And I saw a piece of decoration on it. <laughs> Just concave things. A nice, nice, elegant shape to it. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. I I admire segment turners. Yeah. And I absolutely do not have the patience to do this. So I've not even tried that. That that is amazing. Yeah. How many thousands of pieces in it? It's in the inside. It's, it's 2400. There's a yellow piece of paper on the inside. Four. 50 rows times 40 at 24,001 pieces. I love the design. Beautiful, beautiful design. Wow. Uh, I like it. Since we're talking about finishes, my question. I tried to ask last time, how do you keep those from getting in the little gap between and making it like? Uh, by putting a small amount on whatever you're using in the pot. Yeah. And then air compress it right away. Well, you can. You can also roll it in there if you're not careful. So right. the, the old axiom of, of uh, thin layers are better than thick layers. And here it has to be kind of micro thin. It's longer, <coughs> but it keeps, it preserves that effect of the finish on the outside. By the way, those holes are so small, you don't have to see a whole lot. It looks black to the eye. You so the penalty is not really high. Did you spray it or did you wipe it off? That's just wiped off. 
when, when I do pieces like that, I get them turning slow or laying and use spray lacquer and shoot into the piece and then let the centrifugal force swing it out. Yeah, well, it, and it'll seal up all those little edges in there. It'll, it'll, it'll still leave a coat on, on the yeah. inside though. Oh, yeah. And if that shows up as shine, it's distracting, and that's what he's trying to avoid. All right? I think it's beautiful. I, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always impressed with the Sigma Turners. They have more patience than I do. It's gorgeous. I, I like that interlocking. I always get confused and get my This is a piece of uh, <laughs> maple. <laughs> David Jones? Yeah, that's fine. A lot of nice inclusions in there. Uh, I, like, I like the finish on it. And I like the finish. Up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it gives a nice shine. You, you must have done a good preparation on that. Sandy. It took a while. It took a while. Yeah. And I, I don't see any tooling marks for, for, for sandy lines at all, so you've got all that up. Yeah, and a nice gradual bottom, no hump in the bottom. It's good. Hard to do. Looks like wallet on the bottom and that's mine for cherry top. Cherry top. Is that is that the pith? Is that the pith in the bottom? It just came up. Because I see some cracks on the side. It's, it's, I like I like the shape and it is this is about a third, so it gives it a good balance. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the contrast between the uh, cup and the and the walnut. I like to put a little bit of detail in the bottom so that, so that I pay attention to mm -hmm. and, and Most of mine have a couple of leaves or something. <coughs> it, was, it was a good job to keep the, uh, keep the bark on there. Cherry can be, can be tough that way. You must have picked it the right time of the year. Is this yours too? Yes. That's holly and blackwood. Black? Black African black wood. Okay. I like the uh, contrast. It kind of reminds me of a martini glass. With a straight up there. It's very, very elegant. Good sanding job. Let's see. I am a sucker for natural edge molds, I tell you. Sycamore. No. Who did this? It's more steady. I like it. Nice straight lines. Oops, excuse me. A little small base. Have you tried this without a base at all? Um, I, I, I don't think I would want to. There's this big, not big, big divide between the base people and the no base people. I'm not sure what, what door I come out on that, that, that argument, but because I tend to put bases on there. Well, I think, it, I think that if the, curve, if the curve at the bottom of the piece runs right into the table, then it makes it heavy. Yeah, yeah. This, if you I, lift I, it up, I, I kind of like, like a base, but I'm not sure because a lot of people whom I respect don't like them, and I'm wondering yeah. whether that's just a matter of taste, or is there a design principle I'm missing here? Maybe there is, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of in there. But it's a nice, smooth job. Nice, good job. Yes, I mean, it needs a little bit of a foot camera. Yes. <coughs> so you'll see on mine, except for the table and down, they all have kind of a foot. Are we done? Uh, All right. Well, there's, 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 this is on the bottom. bottom. There's a glass. That? Yes, yeah, that. that one yes. on the bottom. Go ahead. The one that you had in your hand. Yeah. You Go ahead, but then that. there's more in the bottom afterwards. Yeah, okay. The this is pin out of the <laughs> yeah, uh, plastic mesh. Yeah, there so it's know. carbon fiber, carbon fiber. Um, and then it's cast in acrylic. Did you do the casting? Or? No. Okay. <laughs> no, well, I bought that blank. It, it, it's a nice finish. What the um, there, yeah, there's no finish on it. It's just the acrylic that's been well, buffed. There is sanded. a finish. It's uh, the sanding and the presentation right. of it. Is, anyways, there finish, you finishing. That's there you finish. go. So yeah, don't don't drop my glass dish, please. I, I will be very <laughs> But we can drop the wood, that's okay. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hell, hell. 
the mouse. Yeah, I've got all these uh, numbers in here. Uh, what's the finish? Uh, walnut oil. Uh, no wax? No wax. No. I like the, like the hollowing on there. I do love Ambrosia Maple Oil. It's very, very dramatic. Yeah, I really like that piece. It's got a little bit of a character. A little bit of under on the inside, which means this is pretty thin here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, um, the gouge kept catching on me, <coughs> so I had to go back and... It, it looks like it might be kind of fragile for you to very piece. That's why it's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's I, pretty, it's pretty, but oh, yeah. it's, it's designed to be some kind of a salad or... A chip and dip bowl. Yeah. Yeah. My, I talked to my wife about it, just trying to get her opinion on, you know, do I just... Do I cut it and make it a plate? And she's like, how about you just let me keep it? And uh, we'll, we'll keep it as chip and dip. So there we go. This is the special black white bottom finish. The black white bottom finish. A lot of people, lot of people can't night. do that on this. <laughs> just last night I did it. I didn't yeah. notice it until this morning. Uh, that's uh, locust, right? Locust? It's a locust tree from cool. up in Maryland. I got it a month ago. Yeah. If you could find a that made more even, it'd be a design feature rather than a yeah. did work out the way you thought type of thing. I, that piece I'm ready to throw across the creek. It has been so much trouble. Why do you think it turned white? Uh, because I put a spray finish on too soon after I put India ink on it. Oh, so we uh, should have water moisture. in the ink. What the moisture? It, it looks like it was too humid when you put that final coat on. Yeah. Because I've had it turn frosted when I've had a lot of humidity. What was spray the spray? Lacquer. Lacquer? It was, no, I don't know what it is. Okay. It's just, I have a shelf of spray. Yeah. <laughs> I just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad when it comes to finishing. It's it really bad. Well, it's very, 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 very heavy. Why so heavy? It's very thick. Um, it's nice, I'm not criticizing that, but usually I make them a lot thinner. It's just what I felt like doing. I, okay. I thought yeah. it would When you're Lars, and at some point you're probably going to burn it for yeah. a while. <laughs> you want a little extra <laughs> wood there. I knew, can I add some space in there? For I knew I was going to burn it from you know the minute I got it. <laughs> this is number one, Joe Bradshaw, Maple. And I was Walnut. trying to salvage a blank that split after I rough turned it and bagged it. Wow. It's a nice finish on it. Nice, nice contour. Nice contour. Uh, so how dry was it before you tried to glue it back together? I, I, in, in I the suggestion, it would be a, use a bigger contour for these stripes. This walnut is just too light a walnut to show up. I know, and I thought it was going to be darker, and then when I got it on there, and I thought, well, crap. There's a little late. <laughs> But I, but I like the finish on the show. I didn't have any darker wood. Yeah. Yeah. I like the idea too. I like the fact that they're not symmetrical. There's some parts of that. And the baseball bat. And I'm practicing for Frank's class. Jeez. <laughs> now in the video, everyone's going to ask, why is that guy well, so if, small? If you ever did it right, you have a bigger target for the ball. But by, then, by the time you get home, well, <laughs> yeah. You're off my shoulder. The ball is long since it's gone past, but it's uh, nicely done. It's 35 and a half inches, and it's, I think, fairly proportional, meaning I've done some that are long, but they're not as thick as it needed to be. It's more of a, you more of a band band. Thing. You, you yeah. want a thicker one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. band band? Yeah. You, you, want thicker? Than you want it thicker than this? <clears throat> no, I have a 50 inch. That is longer, but it's not as thick. And it, fortunately, this feels better to me. The handle's a little bit bigger, the knob's a little bit bigger. Everything is proportionally a little bit larger. One of the things I did, didn't mention about the sanding is that you sand on the lathe. Yep. Well, the last thing you do is sand it again in the direction of the grain. Oh, yes. Yep. That hasn't been done. This is a CA finish. Yeah. yeah. So. And because of that, you can still have grooves in the sand. They'll blend in with, with the grain and become invisible. <coughs> How many bottles of CA did you use? <laughs> well, actually, not that much. The way I put CA on, it uh, it went on pretty pretty quickly with a uh, cellophane. Well, you know I use cellophane, mm -hmm. and uh, none flies off, and none gets wasted. So. I didn't put 